Well, look, the, the intelligence does show an increased threat, uh, and it would be, I think, catastrophic for Iran to uh, use violence against any of our troops, any of our allies. But it's not just about the intelligence. Uh, what is taking place now was all too predictable. Um, the steps the administration has taken to uh, renege on the Iran agreement, to try to force Europe to renege on the Iran agreement, to try to force Iran to withdraw from the agreement, to go back to the path of enrichment, the designation of the IRGC as a terrorist group, the belligerent rhetoric from the administration, from Pompeo, from Bolton. The policy all of, decisions. All of these policy decisions have led us to a state where confrontation is far more likely, and that cannot be ignored. When you take a series of steps that, yes, ratchet up tensions, you shouldn't be surprised when the intelligence tells you, hey, tensions have been ratcheted up. It's now more a risk of confrontation. And this is why our allies are departing from us. This is why our allies uh, increasingly are isolating us and not Iran. Uh, and I don't see how these policies have made this country any more safe. They haven't. Uh, and I think we miss that bigger picture when we simply focus on is the intelligence accurate or inaccurate. Mm -hmm. The problem is that this ratcheting up of tensions was all too predictable, uh, all too calculated by people like Bolton and Pompeo, uh, and it has led us to the, the precipice of potential catastrophe.